Hey guys, it's your boy Corvairs, and welcome back to Telltales of the Walking Dead. This is season two, ep part two of season two, episode three. E. E. Let's see what they're gonna force us to do now. Looks like we're on the roof. Yep. Definitely on the roof. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you do. Don't touch anything. You don't tell me what to do. Oh god. Unless I'm pushing her over the edge. It's It's, what is she here? Sometime, don't waste your breath. She's not going to survive. She'll probably be one of the first to die. Well, she'll remember it until she dies. Which hopefully is coming up. Right? I mean. Oh, good. This guy again. Problem, Tavia. Look, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Good. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. Can I just stab her and get her over with? Because she's going to die anyway. Me for compost. Got it? Hey, so, is she going to be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped her break a chip, so I better come up with a way to take care of her. Hey! Hands off! Oh, fucker. That was awkward. I won't do that again. Yeah, you're damn right you won't do that again. Leave her be. If she gets in trouble, it's her own fault. The sooner she dies, the sooner I won't have to look after her anymore. Oh shit. Oh no. What? What did you do? These are only half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. No, you didn't. You did not ask me to help her. You did not say that at all. Well, you are quite an idiot. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey, what the fuck happened in here? Look, Bell, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy. I just have, I have one shut arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean that. Bill, please, just... Sounds just, like you're about to give me an excuse. But I asked for an explanation. 
saw she didn't understand. No, nah, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Which part? Oh, uh, why don't you girls wait outside? Because Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. You mean thanks for my help? She didn't do fuck all. What's wrong, Jack? Push her off, Clem. Do it. No one's looking. No, no. Oh, ah, oh, come on! You, why did, why him? Incompetence. Him. Why not her? You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Barney's got some stuff for you to do. Wait, fucking what? Was he blaming me? Hey, I did m I work. I am not uh, here to babysit. How about you go fuck yourself? Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe. Maybe it was just. N no, he 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 straight up killed the motherfucker, or pushed him off the roof. Saw it with my own two eyes. That makes about fifty to sixty people. Oh. Oh, Clem is now seen get killed right in front of her. Her most. It's by her own hand. So you better remember that, you dumb bitch. Because you will be on that list soon. And you too, Troy. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cases. That doesn't look very safe or secure. I ain't no country laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me. You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Stop fighting. I want to, Clem. If this son of a bitch keeps I asking me, I just want to get the work done. And... <laughs> Shit! Fuck! Grab something. The power of the X button compels me to. Oh! There's another. Her kill. Get the screwdriver! Get the screwdriver behind you! Come on. 
Well, thanks. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I swear they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Oh, wait, how did he get off the roof? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait, that's Luke. Why didn't you punch him in the face? Oh, I'm sorry. It was about time you got here. You have any idea how hard this was? All right. Hang on, how did you even get in here? One of those walkie talkies. Just need to either tell y'all what's going on with them dogs, or I'll figure out the schedule of the patrols you're on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all. I'm gonna be able to shoot over half their security gear, but where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure though. Just keep your eyes out for the charge. You gear. think or you know? limits to you bill radio wants a word with you up in his office so get on up there now She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! We passed out hours ago. We can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. You're a bully. Come again. You're just a bully. I know it wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't, but life ain't fair most of the time. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Please. You got that one shot. I, I, you didn't take it. Funny guy. He kept things light. 
need folks like that. What we got at stake. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw ups over the years. He's gonna eat one of those apples to make himself look more like an asshole. It's one of the or even decisions that a weaker person or I should say. It's why it falls to people like us Isn't he? to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different ideas, but they are weak and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to show I'm not like you. To keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it's nice of you. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized that back in that cabin, you were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need. That's because you don't scare me. Lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child was raised. It ain't this hurt that keeps me up at night. He can handle that. It's not knowing. Wish I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. And what if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Hello? Who's there? Yeah, I'm here. Loading bay door is jammed. Try to really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? The rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's not substantial to look at right now. Now let's get him on it. No. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by Lakers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying. It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Penny, do not speak to me like that. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. Do you know about Luke? He flagged us down when he saw he wasn't looking. He told us his plan. Then said he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, the 44th apartment. I saw him when we were walking out through the woods. Troy's always standing next to one of them. He's right. I saw them too. Damn. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them off. Well, how do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it switched on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time of here. It's too loud for him. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Hey, no, that's all right. You ain't exactly a sweet cheese. Why can't we do both? We can bring the herd to us. It's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turbo radio. 
he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hi. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in the snow, like the walkers I fly over you, or since I use the inferno. Now, I don't know who's crazy. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're getting covered. I've done it, too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me, and we walked right through it. stupid radio we still have to find a way to get in stockton i got a plan for that too come on kid gonna need your help how about we send the other kid since she's useless let's give her something to do no has to be me of course it does then we snap into one of the skylights of the ship it sells from south through the land it's how they work great that thing works all the time Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at it. Don't push that for me. She's our best bet. We need that car. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I'm waiting for some bop. He's coming back. I gotta let you go. Just stand here. Grab something. Whoa, that is a fucking big ass hurt. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, we're in trouble. What the fuck are we supposed to do again to herd that size? Let's hope we can. If we use least tactics, we should be fine. I am so Delphi. I don't know why, but the Metal Gear Solid theme is playing in my head. <laughs> Solid climbing time. <laughs> Okay, they won't know. This, they're gone. They're not that bright. If 
they were, they would have killed me when they had the chance. But Bill didn't because he's an idiot. Okay, there's no way she did not see me. You are. You're pulling my leg, game. She definitely saw me. I'll take those. You won't notice because why would you? I mean, who pays attention anymore? Oh, come on. There is no way she cannot see me. He just casually just doesn't give a shit, I guess. Good catch, Mike. I guess what in bed. Bill will be back any minute. Well, you little devil. Everybody stay where you are. No need drawing suspicion. That was so good. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. It was nothing. Sure it was. Anyway. I'm pretty sure Tavia saw me, but that's that's an that's immaterial. Oh, she'll probably forget about it. You mean like breeding? Sorry, Kenny, but Duck was pretty fucking useless. He was gonna die. I mean, we have a replacement, and I know she's gonna die. Hey, her name's Sarah. Not if it's anything like today. Today fucking flew. It was more than not five seconds ago in game time. figure out who's doing what before we Time to get up. Daylight's burning. Daylight's Do a better job at hiding it than that, Kenny, for God's sake. Rebecca, Sarah, Jane, if you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of the just them. Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. All right, buddy. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, then we pair up with him. I can do it. With me. Mike. Duck. Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something, it's important. I'm trusting her. And he's right. I should do it. Don't you think it's stupid just to get some respect? She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chicken. Get to pecking. All right, then. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's going to be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. I heard you, okay? Good. Come on. Oh, you have your... 
your pockets all out. Going to get your tags all snagged on something. Go. It's a good thing he doesn't pay attention. Yeah, pay no attention to the antenna. Uh, common. Mm, nah. Common jacket feature. Or they all come with antennas. Anyway, hey, at least we saw someone die in this episode. But it was starting to get boring. Seriously, this is called The Walking Dead. I expect death. death. That's. Pretty much what this show is about. Oh, end the game in two. Oh, cool. but there you go. That's uh, her. That's part. That was part two of episode three. In the next part, I'll probably be finishing episode three. Let's hope. Only, and then there'll only be two more episodes before we're done with season two. Oh. And we'll be moving on to a different type of game. Well, not totally different. The Once I'm done with this, it'll be The Last of Us. So, until well then, well, until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you all next time.